Good morning, Bobcat community. I wanted to start off this morning uh, just being thankful about the, uh, the panhandle, the people of the panhandle. That was exemplified last Friday. We go over to Boys Ranch and we play a, uh, an amazing game. We come out with a win. Uh, we had a young man, Tate D. Board, get hurt pretty bad. Uh, it's, it, it was a, everyone, it's, a, it's not as bad as we thought it was. And but the interesting aspect of that is the chaplain of the Boys Ranch walked out on the field and asked if he could pray for Tate and his family. And uh, that's amazing. The next morning I got an email uh, from the superintendent of Boys Ranch asking how our student was. And it reminded me of the fact that the people of the Panhandle of Texas are some of the very best in the state of Texas. They are gentle, they're kind, uh, they're caring. And so today, when you get up this morning and you start your day, uh, be reminded of the blessing that we have to call this part of the state our home. And the blessing that we have to raise our kids mm -hmm. here in Sumnery. That's an amazing, amazing blessing. Uh, the band went on on last Saturday, and same group of kids with some amazing directors that we, um, and they advanced the area and uh, walked away with a trophy, and they'll be performing uh, tomorrow at 4.15 back at Bivens. Bivens. Tomorrow at 12.45, let's line the streets from Family Dollar to Ties. We give the band a send-off. And come on over there and watch them perform. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the Bobcat Band. And I just want to reach out and give those kids a pat on the back and give those directors a, a great job. Mm -hmm. Last Monday, I was at Regional Cross Country. And a kid came up from, from one of our kids, walked up, sweat covering him after he finished the race, and he shook my hand and thanked me for being there. That's the type of kids that we have, and they, and they know if you're there supporting them. And so it's always important to remember that. Even when you think they, even when you think they don't care if you're there, they do care if you're there. Of those two teams that we took, we got three kids that will be competing in the state, state uh, cross-country um, meet. Uh, the first week of November, and we look forward to those kids bringing home a medal. Uh, we started a robotics program, and we I believe we have two teams, maybe three teams, that will be competing uh, on the third, uh, the first Saturday in November at Plainview, and we look forward for them kids bringing home uh, medals and, and winning that contest. Uh, last, two years ago, I believe it was, we put a one-to-one -one program in at the high school. That's each child in the high school having a Chromebook, uh, that expands the technology. It also expands the opportunities for those kids to take dual credit classes and to be able to do um, more of the homework at home. To give you an example of that, each year uh, we were spending in excess of about $14,000 in paper. Uh, do you realize because of the implementation of the technology that we have across the district, uh, we haven't bought paper in nearly a year and a half. But before that, each year, we were spending about $14,000 a year on copy paper. And so the implementation of the technology allows us to save your tax dollars uh, on a, on a, on a uh, consumable product. And we've taken that and we've moved it down one step further. Uh, we started issuing a one-to-one -one program in the eighth grade. And so those kids, when they go into the high school, uh, they're prepared for that. So when you see those kids with those computers and you have a question about it, remember it is a way for them to do their homework um, with their teachers, do their classwork with their teachers. And it also saves the district money overall uh, because those computers are shifted down from grade level to grade level uh, each year. And each child that gets one of those computers pays a $25 fee every year for those computers. Uh, to insure those computers, and we have a self-insurance fund for those computers. So uh, great job, kids and teachers and community uh, for embracing that technology. One other thing is pre-K through 2, uh, we uh, have iPads in every classroom for those kids. And so that, 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 that puts that 21st century learning in the classroom. Um, <clears throat> we went one step further than that. We were able to use some federal money. Uh, to buy what's called Dell Canvas computers. Uh, they're in Jennifer Goolsby's room. They're for digital and graphic uh, art design. Uh, they're amazing computers. They're, they're, they look very similar to the old drafting type tables, uh, but they're virtual. 
and we're getting those kids pushed forward in the 21st century, and, and we reach out and say good job to the kids. We reached out and we wrote a grant through the Amarillo Area Foundation called a Catalyst Grant, and uh, we are looking at putting in place through this grant virtual reality computers for the science classrooms where the kids can virtually dissect uh, frogs, um, whatever that is, can be done virtually. You can do the life cycle of a butterfly. They're just amazing computers. They're called Z-Space. And by doing that, the kid can also do their work in their native language. And uh, so it's just, if you have an opportunity to come up to the school uh, and see the amazing things going on as far as technology, um, please do that. Our goal is for our kids to leave our district being as, being as advanced and having the same opportunities that they have in a larger school district. Come on out tonight uh, for the chili supper. Uh, come on out to the football game. We play panhandle tonight. It'll be a good night of Texas uh, panhandle football. And come on out and support the band tomorrow at 415. I hope to see you there. As always, if you have any questions or concerns about your school district, uh, please do not hesitate to contact me. We may not always agree on the outcome, but at least we can visit about it. Uh, as always, it is a great day to be a Bobcat, and I wish each of you a blessed weekend. Thank you.